Today is the day we take a trip down memory lane because I'm gonna show you how to make an old school classic. Today we're gonna be making a delicious Southern potato salad. When I tell you this potato salad is everything. I'm your girl cooking with Tammy and let's get this video started. First thing we're gonna to need to make our delicious Southern potato salad is potatoes. Yes, as you can see, we have our potatoes already in a bowl, ready to go. Peeled the skin, basically rinsed it one off, and I diced it on up into chunky sized cubes. I'm gonna demonstrate in a few seconds how we did that. We also have some sweet gherkins pickles. Man, let me tell you, <laughs> these sweet gherkins pickles are everything. If you can't get your hands on these pickles right here, then definitely pick you up some salad cubes. If you can get the salad cubes, then use sweet relish. And we also have some diced onions as well as finely diced celery, salt, ground black pepper, chicken bouillon, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, mayo, Dijon mustard, and of course, celery. And with that being said, let's get to cooking. First thing we're gonna do with this potato is slice it on down the middle. And we're gonna take that half and slice it in half once more. Yes, one fourth of a fraction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're gonna dice it one up into chunky pieces. Not too chunky to choke somebody, but chunky enough to make a great potato salad. And just in case you're wondering, these are Yukon Gold potatoes. However, you could substitute with the rest of potatoes as well. Once you're done, you're gonna repeat the same thing with the other half as well, just like that. Now, of course, we are not perfect, so we don't need perfect size potatoes. However, we do need it to be roughly around the same size, all right? Because when it comes to boiling, we want everything to cook at the same time. You don't want to have that little potato that's cooked before all of the other potatoes. That's not going to be good because it's going to ruin the texture of your potato salad. I've already went ahead and started boiling some water. So to this boiling water, we are going to add some chicken bouillon powder. Yes, we are. Give this water some flavor. If you don't do the chicken, of course, use veggie bouillon. If you don't have veggie bouillon, feel free to use some salt, but we do need to flavor this water. We're gonna go in there and add those potatoes. Give it a good stir because we wanna combine all of the flavors, all right? We're gonna allow these potatoes to boil for about six to eight minutes until they're fork tender, but yet we need those potatoes to have some resistance, all right? Because we're not making mashed potatoes. When it comes to boiling our eggs, so simple, so easy. You wanna add those eggs to a pot, fill it on up with water, allow the water to come to a rolling boil for about 10 minutes. Once you're finished, you're gonna turn off the stove top and introduce those eggs to cold water to stop the cooking process. Allow it to sit in the cold water for about 10 minutes before deshelling. And of course, if we wanna cool it down even faster, we're gonna add some ice cubes to the water, make it nice and chill. Moving right along, it's time for us to dice up our celery. Now we want our celery to have that nice crunchy element, right? That's how it's gonna contribute to our potato salad. We don't need it for nothing else, just that nice crunchy element. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice it on down into three slices. If your celery stalk is a little bit larger, if you wanna slice it on down into fours, you can. After we get those three slices, take your time, dice it up really well, just like this. And once we're done, we're gonna place it into a bowl and reserve it for later. In the meanwhile, we're gonna move on over to making our dressing for our delicious Southern style potato salad. So to this bowl right here, we're gonna add our mayo, followed by our Dijon mustard, our finely diced celery, we're also gonna add our sweet gherkins pickles or a salad cubes, or if we don't have that, we're gonna add our sweet relish. Man, these sweet gherkins pickles are so good. Every now and then I find myself just eating it as a snack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, when you're done, you're gonna add your diced onions to the mix as well. Hit it off with that garlic powder, of course. Add the powder. We're also going to add our onion powder. And I don't want you guys to go in here heavy handed and add too much because right now we're just getting the process started. We can always go back in there and add extra if necessary. Mix once more, make sure everything is well combined. Once we're done, we're going to hit it off with a little bit of salt. 
Notice I said a little bit, right? <laughs> as well as some freshly cracked black pepper. Give it a mix once more. Make sure everything is well combined. Because guess what? Your old school southern potato salad is going to be the best potato salad on the block. What? <laughs> It's about six to eight minutes later, so we're gonna grab those potatoes off of the stove top, drain it on off, hit it off with a little bit of cold water just to cool it down a tad bit, and we could place it into the refrigerator. We're gonna work on our eggs. Yes, take those chilled eggs and get to deshelling. Let's run it under some cold water, and that definitely helps to loosen up the shell as well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut into this egg right here. As you can see, we have that nice, bright, sunny yolk going on. And that's because we boiled our eggs for 10 minutes, guys. And once we were done, we rushed it on over to the sink, drained it off, added that nice cold water to cool it on down and stop the cooking process, followed by adding some ice to the pot as well. And this is what we have. We're gonna take our eggs and we're gonna add it to our mixture. When it comes down to chopping up the eggs, if you want to leave it chunky, then so be it. If you want to continue breaking it down, then get in there with your knife and just chop it on up. Remember, it's your potato salad. Mix it all in there. And I don't know about you, but I love to use extra eggs when it comes to making my potato salad. Mm-hmm. Just in case you're wondering, by the way, we didn't add all of the eggs. We kept back at least one because we want to garnish it with the egg once we're done. It's about six to eight minutes later, so we're gonna grab those potatoes off of the stove top, drain it on off, hit it off with a little bit of cold water just to cool it down a tad bit. And you wanna place it into the refrigerator for about five to 10 minutes just to cool it down some more. You don't wanna add hot potatoes to your dressing because it's gonna be a runny mess. We're gonna grab those potatoes out of the refrigerator, add it to our delicious dressing, and incorporate it, fold it on in, fold those potatoes on in. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. just like this and remember you don't want to break your potatoes up so it's important that you fold it on in because you want that nice texture going on oh man this is going to be epic it's going to be so good I remember when I was a little kid my grandmother would make this I would find myself going back for seconds and thirds and even more it's that delicious once we're finished, we're going to hit it off with that reserved egg, place it on top just like this. We're going to go in there with some green onions, add it to the top. If you don't have green onions, feel free to use chives. And last but not least, we're going to hit it off with our paprika. Not smoked, but regular paprika. And guys, this is it. Yes, old school southern potato salad. As always, I'm your girl cooking with Tammy. Definitely give this recipe a try. It will not disappoint you or your guests. And with all of that being said, stay safe, stay blessed, and I will catch you guys in another video. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.